Well, the latest controversy surrounding Congressman George Santos. New reports saying Santos is connected to the cousin of a Russian oligarch who donated hefty sums to his campaign. This revelation comes as investigators now looking into his campaign financing. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez has the latest. Ashley? Yeah, most constituents in Santos's district want him out. It's no secret. Most Republicans in the House want him out, but he won't leave on his own. This new revelation is giving his opponents hope Santos may be connected to something illegal, and that would force him out. According to the Washington Post Monday, one of Rep. George Santos's donors was Andrew Entrader, a businessman with ties to a notorious Russian oligarch. This revelation comes as the biggest question surrounding Santos still remains unanswered. Just a few years ago, Santos claimed a salary of only $55,000 a year. So how did he earn enough money to lend his campaign $700,000 in 2022 last year? This is finally a money source that has that kind of wherewithal. And might it be the source of those campaign dollars? Maybe. We don't know. The report says Entrader donated thousands of dollars to Santos' campaign and committees he's linked to, and also dumped hundreds of thousands of dollars into an investment firm where Santos worked. That company is currently under investigation for running a Ponzi scheme. And Trader's resume shows up shady. He's cousins with Victor Vexelberg, a Russian billionaire sanctioned by the U.S., and was investigated for his connections to Donald Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen during the Russian probe. Cohen pled guilty to campaign finance law violations in 2018. The Entrader Santos connection is key. Until we know what that looks like, then we'll know the scope of the potential illegality here. The House won't kick Santos out for lying, but the Oversight Committee chair said they will if he broke campaign finance laws, a felony conviction the courts will have to make. If they can get a conviction uh, on a campaign finance violation, on a perjury violation, on some other violation, and there are any number of possibilities in the hopper right now, uh, that would then create the felony rationale for a clear removal removal without having to have an argument among the caucus. And House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is not getting involved. He said he will leave Santos's fate to the Ethics Committee and to voters. Steve. Very well. All right. Thanks, Ashley.